Hello everybody, welcome to the Gyrocopter Flying Club. In this film we're going to look at vertical descents. We've seen how vertical descents can be used for accurate positioning in emergency landings but they can also be used for sightseeing or more formal observation tasks. In this film we're going to take great interest in some white buildings beyond the yellow fields on the nose. Having selected your area, plan a route that will see you turn into wind and perform a standard hazel check ensuring that height is sufficient. Your airframe is configured which for a gyroplane means that the secondary fuel pump is turned on. You're secure and your passenger is secure. Engine T's and P's are in the green arc and also make a note of the power required and whether that's reasonable for the speed that you're flying at. Location we've selected and that's suitable and a good lookout including below and behind which of course is completed during the final run into your ground feature. Also, verbalise your recovery height before commencing this manoeuvre. Once positioned, complete your lookout. Our point of interest is the white building next to the road, and we're pointing into wind on a slight diagonal to the building. To commence a vertical descent, ease the power back to idle and hold the nose on the horizon. Controlling your as the power is reduced which means left pedal for Rotax powered aircraft. Accurate position to the ground feature is maintained by looking at it out of the side and you're now established in a vertical descent. Now your process is to maintain a good lookout ensuring your reference to the horizon, a glance at the instruments and the key instrument here is the altimeter and your predetermined recovery height. Here we recover to the glide, which will see the nose load to recover airspeed at around 60 miles an hour. At this point, once airspeed is recovered, check back on the stick to bring the nose back level to the horizon and ease power back to full power over around three seconds remembering the yaw change with big power changes and climb away. Of course the lookout includes above. In this next demonstration we hope to show how maintaining visual with the ground feature that you're trying to descend next to allows the pilot to maintain accurate yaw because as my student puts in too much left pedal you'll see the buildings disappear under the nose, whilst too much right pedal sees the nose diverge significantly from the buildings before back to our normal accurate position. Here we recover with power and therefore minimal height loss and the technique is once you've decided to recover check the nose to the horizon and add full power over three seconds again ensuring you have a good lookout. A common error with vertical descents is over pitching which sees airspeed bleed significantly and your control becoming difficult as the airflow over the tailplane is lost. Ultimately the risk with zero airspeed descents is that your control is lost entirely and a flat attitude rotation commences to the right. It's common for people to freeze at this point and hold the stick back which sadly only excites the rotation. You can escape the situation one of two ways, either add power to create prop wash and energise the tailplane, or relax the back pressure on the stick to recover airspeed and roll into the direction of the rotation. Again this creates airflow and your control is regained. Remember, if you're using a vertical descent as part of your emergency landing process, you must recover sufficient airspeed before attempting to land. And if you're sightseeing or just practising, do respect your aircraft pilot operating handbook height velocity curve because you might suffer a real emergency. Keep flying safely. It's an area of the aircraft's flight envelope which the pilot must avoid staying in continuously if, on the circumstance of him suffering a sudden engine failure, he's going to manage to land the aircraft safely. And it's usually defined by a height and an airspeed combination. If the pilot should have an air failure within those areas, the chances of him getting away with a safe landing are pretty remote. As this American test pilot was to discover, 